Uh, can I introduce Dennis to you without part two? <laughs> Dennis is a problem child. <laughs> And she is always, always very assertive. And she says her mind. It doesn't matter if you are head or not head. But what I like about her is the way she is so free and friendly. Dennis, you are my role model. Oh. To you, part two, Shen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you. No, I feel sorry for her partner, not for, for <laughs> but Patu, I, I, I learned a lot from you, my dear, that you are so caring, you have this uh, contagious laughter and smile, and I, I love the way you, you welcome us every time when we are in whatever meeting, and the way you, you come so you know, free to us. Thank you very much. And to you, Dennis, I like your assertive. You are very assertive, my, my dear. the next partnership, Patu and Denise, a powerful all-woman group. I think they're the only ones amongst our group. And oh my word, they always seem like such a ball of fun. Well, Denise, amongst the group, was the wacky one. She said things that some of us would think, but never necessarily vocalize. She brought a lot of fun and energy into the group. Patu, the effervescent, very passionate about making a difference, and you know, so much, so much energy, and 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 passionate about her work and about, um, you know, her involvement in the school, and you know, they've gone on an a interesting journey also over the year. So I'll hand over to them to give you the details of that. But oh my, did they keep me both entertained, uh, as well as I learned a lot from them because I happen to have spent a lot of time with Patu and uh, we did share a lot of, of, of the journey that we had been through both from a work environment as well as through the PFP journey. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, this is the front of the school, and I'm happy that all those letters were there because they were missing. And so Lucky Patu got a big picture, a, a good picture. Um, our school opened in 1965. We have 954 learners and about 30-odd educators and six PS staff. Those are the workers of the school. Um, our school community does not reside in Laneja. They all come from out of Laneja, from Soweto. Protea Glen, to be precise. So that's our school. What's going on? I'm going to bring up everything so you can save us some time. Um, I'd like to introduce, obviously, Denise. Denise Abrams is the principal of the Nature Model School. She's been the principal for the last. <laughs> I hate this, yeah. She's been the principal for the last three years. And obviously, being um, I mean, in a leadership position as a female, we know the challenges that we face out there. So it was something that Janine, uh, uh, Denise had to really sit down and think about. And together, me being in project management, I'm like, let's get down to detail, let's do this, let's get going with things of that sort. And obviously understanding Denise, we had to like work together to get this ball rolling. Um, both of us are quite passionate about what we want to do. We know that the children are the center. And as South Africans, and to ensure that our future, these are our future leaders, we owe it to ourselves and this country to make the difference. Okay, that's Patu Khan. I can't tell you her real name because I'm not even sure what it is, but we'll call her Patu. 
She's married to Fuzz, and Fuzz is in pest control. I think he thought that would help him with his in-laws, but it didn't. Um, she's been in the banking industry for 25 years, and Patu is fanatical about making an impact. Wherever she goes, she wants to make an impact. Um, she has two kids, both are married, and she's the proud, proud grandmother of two. Um, her reason for joining PFP was that it was on her bucket list. Like I'm saying to you, she wants to make an impact, and you'll see in pictures to follow that she really wants to impact these little kids that she's really passionate about. Okay, so like I say, is when Denise and I got together, we really sat down and we sat with this book and we started writing exactly what we want to do or what Denise saw more than anything else as challenges. So we listed them like just from an SMT role and responsibility. I think that uh, was uh, quite a big one for Denise to work through. Um, the paperless environment, principles, offers. Our, I'm sorry, I just have to interject. When she spoke to me about the paperless environment, I got worried about the toilet. <laughs> um, I must be honest, the first day I met Denise uh, uh, at her office, and she was sitting in the office, in so-called the principal's office, and she had the finance lady sitting with her, and her deputy has got this wonderful grand office, and I'm like, okay, what's happening here? And I think that was like a turning point for, for Denise. It's like, Denise, really, what is going on here? You've got parents meeting you. You can't keep jumping up from your office to the deputy's office just to entertain them or to discuss anything. So what are you going to do about it? So those were quite challenging for Denise to really sit back. The softy that she is, she may be naughty, but she is soft. So it was quite difficult for her to actually say, okay, hold on, how am I going to deal with this here? How am I going to tell this lady, like, you know, in a nice way, in a polite way, this is what I'm going to change? Okay, that uh, Gauteng online story was a bit painful for me because uh, we had a whole computer center, a cute little computer center, full of computers that didn't work. Um, so the challenges are gone now, but we're back to the ones that we challenged. That we <laughs> <laughs> Just put it up for me again, Fatu. Um, no, it's okay, go back there because it'll come up again as a, a challenge. Go, go to the poster. Um, that's my SMT. Notice that we're all ladies. That's my deputy sitting there in the chair in her wonderful office, and then my three HODs. Um, Patu had a problem when she came to my school that I was always running around and I was doing things, and I was just taking things upon myself to get it done, because largely I didn't trust anybody to get it done. And then she said to me, you know, you have to delegate some duties to this lot. So I quickly um, did flawless consulting, and took the PAM document out and showed them their roles and responsibilities and recontacted with each of them. So we use a lot of these principles that we learned here. Speak fast. She's Speak showing us signs. Like, whoa, 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 come on, let's do it. <laughs> this thing is like going too slow here. Yeah? Okay, um, I think our, our presentation was too slow. Where are we, uh, okay. Um, and then obviously transformation of the principal's office. She eventually has her own office. And she created, strange enough, she had another room that she created for her bursa. Wow, wasn't that awesome? There we go. Okay, this I think was a big bugbee. And I think yeah. amongst the entire team on this journey, this was the biggest bugbee. And who do we thank? The Guptas. So what we did was... <laughs> So what we did was we looked at the, at the possibility of um, getting an, uh, a, a sponsorship, actually not really a sponsorship, but winning a mobile center from Vodacom. So we entered the competition and won the system. So we got an entire mobile system in which replaced Gauteng Online. And that was an awesome experience, especially for the learners. So there's a lot more work to do during the course of the year to roll this out to all the learners. Uh, let me just mention that PFB helped us get this Vodacom. I don't know how they did it. I know the Guptas were involved. Yeah. But we won this, uh, this whole big thing that you saw here now. This next slide is about empowering the educators. So with Patch's help, we managed to organize uh, four, what you call that, desktops now for them. And then, uh, because Patu goes on about this paperless environment. So really, I don't know if it's ever going to be possible, but she's insisting that we work from this 
through to our laptops and I don't know. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. Okay. But the start of it is that you actually created it. Okay, from a, from a, a corporate social responsibility and from a West Bank point of view and a first RAND point of view, we managed to elevate the sports in the school. The kids had no form of identification of from which school they were when they entered into sports. So we managed to get a 10,000 RAND um, funding which, we, which assisted in getting the sports kits as well as the equipment for that. And on that day, they won all their matches. <laughs> Oh, and another thing that I did, <laughs> which I th at one stage I thought when I did this, maybe I should actually be a teacher. And I loved every moment of this year. In, in, within the corporate environment, you have a, a <clears throat> one of the uh, compliance and regulatory is treating customers fairly. So we came up with a whole lot of games. And I actually went to the grade threes and I did a talk on banking and how to play fairly. And it was absolutely awesome just to see how the lights came on and where does money come from and all of that. So that was an awesome experience. Okay, that's also just some of the things that the goodies that Patu brought. And that lady at the back keeps showing me signs, man. Okay, talk about um, the quiz. Stop with it. <laughs> okay, this is a, a big thing that happens in schools. It's called um, the English Teacher's Book Quiz. And our school was tasked to do that. And obviously, I couldn't have managed that without Patu's flair and advice about change this, do this, do that. So all of these are the book quiz that our school successfully hosted with Patu's help. These are our challenges that we didn't conquer. The biggest one was the dysfunctional SGB. And obviously we're not gonna go into too much detail, but that's one of the key things that we're going to work in during the course of this year. Okay, there are also other, pla other stuff that we're planning, and I'm not going to read it out to everybody because I'm sure we can all read. And I think the last one, at the back, yes, you can go. Okay, what I learned from my partner is, as you can see, Pat, uh, Patu's very calm and she's very organized. So I learned to just calm myself down when I deal with issues. Um, she taught me lots of labor law. She taught me how to delegate tasks and to be authoritative about it being done. How to see a project, how to plan it and see through to fr fruition. How to resolve conflict even between ourselves. How to sit back and enjoy what we've done. What I learned about myself is that I can be authoritative if the situation demands it that I'm able to learn new things even at this old age, that I can work with someone and achieve objectives because I'm a control freak and I want to do it myself, that I am able to compromise, which is a big thing for me, that I can shut up and listen even to my husband. And in one workshop we learned that we must use uh, perhaps a vernacular language to speak to our parents. Going back to that saying about, if you speak to a man in a language he understands, you speak to his head. But if you speak to him in his language, you speak to his heart. Okay, let's go with mine quickly. How many more minutes, or is it over already? No, over. <laughs> okay, we might as well. We might as well just carry on. Okay, um, what what I learned from it, specifically from Denise and from the school and the principals and things, is the resilience. It's the resilience to be able to kind of tackle the challenges as they come. And you know what? We can't walk away from this. We need to do this, yeah. And in, the, in, the, in an organization, most of the time, you just want to get things going, and there's no time to think about that. So you break down all of these barriers. Um, also to appreciate uh, Denise from, from like where she comes from, from a school environment versus what we experience in, in an organization. And what was easy for me was very difficult for her to do. For me, the, I think that the, the big learnings for me was and it specifically came out of our team, out of our cops that we, I, I got that confidence to actually say no. Time and again, Dave would say to me, I want, and that's exactly what I said, I want and I am taking 2018, it is mine for the taking. And also to listen without interruptions. I mean, we all sit in board meetings and um, sometimes it can go equally pickledy because everybody wants to have their say in, but by just sitting back and listening, you can come up with so much more than what you've just gone in with. The relationship, um, like I said, the relationship that we built, this, I can't put a price tag to it. 
it's just, it, it's the, the input I got from everybody, the confidence that it boosted me, and I, if you don't know, I actually left West Bank after 24 years in November to start at Standard Bank in a totally new, new environment. And it's all about, today we were at conference, and it was all about shifting gears. So I think going forward, from, a depart from an education point of view, we also want to shift gears.